in order to make the chocolate nutritious we are going to add some dry fruit one is the cashew nut other are the almonds and then we have pistachios and we have raisins we will add these uh, dry fruit in order to make the chocolate nutritious and toothsome now we have crushed the almonds pistachio and the cashew nut and we have also introduced uh, some biscuits we have also broken them so that we could add them as well it will embellish the taste and the quantity of the chocolate that we are making so this is the uh, coca powder that we are going to use to make the warm chocolate you can buy it from any store um, and there are various brands i'm going to use the hershey chocolate powder we are also going to add clarified butter it is a form of butter which is known as desi ghee in the local language you can add the simple butter if you do not have this form of the butter so we have the warm water utensil because we do not want to cook the uh, chocolate in the um, on the pot directly on the stove because it can get stick and can get uh, burnt so we are uh, going to cook it like this in a pan which is placed inside that hot water utensil and this is the melted form of the clarified butter because we are going to cook the chocolate in the clarified butter so we are letting it melt and we also are going to add the sugar in it so the chocolate will be now added into the melted clarified butter we are going to mix it so that this powder converts into this paste you can see the color has become quite dark now and um, all of it should be mixed properly so that the flavor comes out fully still some powder is left so there is a need to mix it now we have added the sugar because we want to make it sweet depends upon you that how much of the sugar you want to add because um, uh, chocolate powder definitely doesn't have a very good taste so you definitely want to make it sweet as per your taste so we want to mix all the granules uh, properly so that it becomes a homogeneous mixture so that there are no particles uh, in the paste and it is um, quite a bit of a creamy sort of mixture so let us uh, wait and stir it a little bit so that it gets properly mixed up and melted and you can see the color is very uh, brown and it is getting dark and dark as we are adding more things and cooking it as now you can see we have added milk and this milk had a little bit of cream as well so this um, is going to further make it a creamy recipe as we have added the uh, milk with cream in it so uh, it is also getting mixed up and it is going to disappear the white color will disappear and you can see the steam also was there now we have added a little bit of extra clarified butter to um, add more taste and nutrition to it because uh, the clarified butter is a very nutritious um, thing that we can eat and finally we are going to add the crushed pistachio and we also have crushed almonds it's up to you the, the way you want to crush it it's not fine nicely crushed but you can give it any other shape and we have already now we have added the crushed cashew nuts so all three hard uh, dry fruits have been added and mixed to a certain extent now we have some biscuits as well that we have crushed uh, and we are going to add them so that the you know uh, taste and the quantity of the chocolate increases and we have added all those biscuits they are in larger chunks so we are going to uh, mix them and break them with the spatula and these are the raisins that we have added after washing them so they are a little wet uh, but ideally they should not be this much wet so when you uh, mix the, these as well 
this is going to become uh, quite a bit of uh, food, a loaded mixture of dry fruits and the chocolate now our task is to stir it and break these uh, larger chunks so that uh, it becomes a homogeneous mixture because the smaller the chunks the better because in every bite you will get all the um, dry fruits in smaller pieces and the biscuit as well so as you can see we are trying to break those larger chunks of the biscuit the taste would be better if the uh, mixture is homogeneous this is what we are trying to do and there is a very good thing that we should know about the uh, cooking and that is if uh, the food is cooked and we are consuming it within uh, one and a half hour of it it is going to be beneficial and it will not create any inertia otherwise it will create inertia now finally we have uh, made it a little thick by cooking it and now we have poured it into this uh, plate so that we could see it it's finally ready we can allow it to get a little uh, normal so that it becomes easy to eat you can see the color and all the contents of it all the uh, dry fruits in their smaller pieces and the biscuit so this is a, a fresh thing that you can consume within 1.5 hours so that doesn't give you